Hey guys, what's up? I am back with my first Birchbox and Ipsy unboxing of the year and I am super excited. I had to discontinue my subscription to them for three months because I needed money for Christmas and then I spent all my money and didn't have any money in January to renew my subscription. So, you know, life, it just happened. So I actually restarted Birchbox and Ipsy and I signed up for a new subscription service that I will have a video on very, very soon. I'm filming it right after this. So within this kind of time frame of when you're watching this video, that other video of that new subscription box should be coming up. I haven't told anybody what it is. I'm just super excited to be like, you know, filming. So today we're doing Birchbox versus Ipsy and I think we're gonna do Birchbox first just because why not. So Birchbox has just renewed their boxes since I last had them. Super cute neon orange and pink. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here. Bye. Okay, what do we have here? Hi, you're my favorite, February 2015. Woo, bye. Ooh, you can pre-order the Roller Lash by Benefit. Cool, that's new. All right, super cute tissue paper. Okay, so first thing I'm pulling out here is the Gilchrist and Soames Spa Therapy Body Lotion. That's pretty cool. I mean, I have a lot of body lotions though. If you guys remember I haul, my haul from a while ago, like for Christmas, I think it was my what I got for Christmas actually, I got a ton of body lotions, so not really in the need for body lotions, but one day I'll run out and this will just be waiting for me, so. Next we have the Harvey Prince Hello Shampoo, revitalizing, hydration, repair. Um, it's just a shampoo sample, that'll be interesting, sometimes I run out of shampoo and need little samples, so cool beans. All right, next thing I'm pulling out here is the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. Now, you guys know I am obsessed with my Stila Precision, Precision, <laughs> my Stila Waterproof Liquid Liner that I got for Christmas. I'm obsessed with it, so we'll just have to see. Uh, oh, that's not very skinny. Can you guys see that? It's not as skinny as my one, my Stila one. That makes a pretty thick line right off the bat. Oh, but it can go pretty, pretty small. We'll have to try this out. It's very opaque and very, very like super dark black when I swatch it. So I'm actually, I'm excited. All right, next we've got our little lifestyle thingies or whatever they put in these boxes. All right, first thing I'm pulling out here. Oh, it's the matching little dude. Got the shampoo and <laughs> conditioner. I guess that's really nice. Let's see how these smell. I didn't even smell the last one. It smells like a boy. It smells good though. It's like a girl and a boy mixed. I really love the smell of these. Wow. The smell of your shampoo and conditioner is so important. Ooh. Yeah, I like that a lot. Looks like there is one more thing in here. Got the Clean Skin Perfume Sample. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sniff this because, duh. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I absolutely love this. I love it when they send good perfume samples. Like, holy moly. That smells so good. It smells like uh, Sweet You or something from the Walmart brand. That seriously smells so good. I need the full size. I need it. Alright, so that was it for the Birch Box. Nothing too exciting except for that perfume, and I'm really excited about that eyeliner too. So, we're gonna move on to Ipsy now. Hey, Ipsy, what's up? I love these little pink packages that they come with. Okay, oh, we've got something in the box, or the bag. It's a brush! Sweet! Oh yes, I need this brush actually. I needed an angled contour brush because your girls learn how to contour. And okay, right when I said that, there was like this dark line right here. So I am learning how to contour and I need this brush for that reason. I had one that came with my um, Coastal Sense brush set and I lost it. I have no idea where it went. So this is nice. Thank you, Ipsy. You always read my mind. So this is the Luxie. 504 large angled brush. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. The handle doesn't really match any of my other brushes, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, so we've got our little bag here. It was open. Interesting. 
All right, so here's my bag. My bag feels very thin. It looks very thin too. Hmm. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna pull something out. Ooh, what is this? All right, looks like some kind of eye pencil. Yeah, eye accent pencil. Um, an amethyst. That's like purple, right? Yeah, purple. Cool, and it comes with a little sharpener, so that's really cool too. Let's open this bad boy up and give it a swatch. Jeez, they package these things like somebody is just going to like, I don't know, but they are packaged. Oh, it has that pencil smell. I hate pencils. The lid has a sharpener in it. I've never had anything like this. I mean, I've seen them, but, huh, interesting. All right, we're gonna do a swatch. Ooh, very nice. Um, it's a little splotchy though, which I don't expect much out of these little, like, actual pencils, because they're usually honestly not that great, but I like the color, I just, I don't really wear colored eyeliner all that often, but I'm sure I could whip up a look with this, so. Next thing I'm pulling out here, ooh, cargo! I almost just broke whatever this is, it's a lip gloss. I don't have anything from Cargo, but their cosmetics are amazing, so I've heard. Um, this is a lip gloss, and it's in the color An Angeli Angela? I don't know. Um, oh goodness, this is very, very pink. That is not going to look good on me. Baby, baby, like pastel pink. Those colors do not look good on me, and they make my teeth look yellow. That's kind of a bummer, cause like it's a really pretty color, but those colors just do not look good on me. Like I cannot make them work. Oh my gosh, this is the last thing in my Ipsy bag. All right, so next thing that I have here is a blush from Model Co. And it is in the color Peach Bellini. And I knew we were getting this because I, um, I follow Ipsy on Instagram and it, they do sneak peeks. So I knew I was getting one of these. Look at that though, that color is gorgeous. Holy moly, let's. Oh yeah, that's really creamy. Wow, okay, I didn't, look at that, look at that color. I am, wow. I'm really excited to use that. I don't really have like a ton, a ton of blushes, but ooh, I don't know why I just smelled it. That is so pretty, I love this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Overall, Birchbox had more things, but um, Ipsy kind of took the cake this month, this month, this month. Um, I just think Ipsy had better products, like that blush is phenomenal, and I would be really excited about that lipstick, but, you know, not really my color. I'll give it a shot, but I know it's not going to look good on me because I have something similar to it. That angled brush was a winner right off the bat. I'm really excited to use that brush, and it's super duper soft, so. Alright, so that was everything that I got in my Birch Box and Ipsy this month. If you would like to sign up for either of those, I will have both links in the description where you can sign up. Alright, be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys got in your Birch Box and Ipsy bags and boxes if you get them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!